Welcome to the June 1st edition of Midweek Missions, the weekly missions update from First Baptist Nixa. This week we're going to be bringing you an update from M and C, our mission partners in Southeast Asia. Now due to the need for enhanced security, we don't reveal their name or their ministry location as we don't want to do anything that would jeopardize their ministry. But this family is well known to our church. They were in fact uh, here with us back in October when they were home on furlough. M and C and their family returned to the mission field in February, uh, and after a brief quarantine, they have been back in the ministry there for about three months, and we just received their May update, which I would like to read to you now. Over the course of the last few months, our team has been going down to the South Coast every weekend to share the good news, to mobilize local believers, and to meet with a newer believer for discipleship. In the middle of the fasting month of Ramadan, our national partner shared the good news with this man and he professed faith. We are rejoicing in this work of the Holy Spirit to lead this man to repentance and for him to profess faith, but follow-up has proven difficult to talk about next steps in getting baptized. Many of the local people on the coast don't have cell phones and they are hard to track down sometimes. Please join us in praying for this particular individual and for the opportunity to follow up with him in the days ahead. Pray that he would walk in obedience and begin growing as a follower of Jesus Christ. Another exciting development is happening on the South Coast. For several months, our team has been meeting weekly with one believer for discipleship and accountability. Because we have been going down to the coast routinely, we have also learned about a couple of other believers with a Muslim background who are not connected with a church. We have invited these believers to gather together to begin worshiping in the context of a house church. However, this group isn't meeting in a house, they are meeting on the side of a mountain. In addition to these believers, there is another believer who is interested in being a part of this group and could potentially become the leader of this small house church. Please pray for our team to have wisdom and discernment as we provide direction and guidance as this church is being planted. Additionally, ask the Father to establish His church to raise up leaders and for believers on the coast to grow as faithful disciples who are faithfully seeking to reach their community with the good news. We are so encouraged by the Father's work on the coast and ask that He would continue to work in ways far beyond what we could ask or think. In their newsletter, they also list several praises and prayer requests that we would like to make the focus of our prayer time today. They say, we praise him for his faithfulness to be working on the coast and for the opportunity to be just a small part of the work there. We praise him for another successful school year. Our eldest two children took a couple of online classes this school year. They were challenged, but both of them did very well. We continue to share routinely throughout the city. For the most part, we aren't seeing very much openness, so pray that the Holy Spirit would lead us to those whom He has prepared to hear and to receive the gospel. We have two more weeks left in our training down on the South Coast. Pray that everyone who has participated would continue to put into practice the things that they have been learning once the training is over. Pray for the new believers that we are seeking to disciple that have expressed openness to the good news. And finally, continue to pray that the borders would open so that the rest of our teammates would be able to obtain a visa and to come to our country and begin studying language. As you pray through these prayer points, we're going to put up a one-minute timer, at the end of which uh, this video will end. As always, you can feel free to pause the timer to pray for longer if you wish, but let's dedicate at least a moment today as a church to pray for M and C, our mission partners in Southeast Asia.